plays it. Can't touch it. It was in the no play zone. Ain't no. It? There's the goal. Archibald gets another one. And he shouldn't have been allowed to play it in the first place. I think when he touched the puck, and I think that's what made him think twice about what was happening. I think this puck is in the no play zone when he plays it. It's going to be pretty tough. Class. Pretty tough to to react and say Couturier, and everybody just ducks. So that's why you got to pay attention when you're sitting on that bench. You can't just let your mind wander. You got to watch what's going on, especially if the puck is anywhere near in the vicinity. And you may have a little bit of a hold up. Yeah, I think it did crack the glass. And you can see it kind of splintered. Yep. Right next to the head of Adam Pellick there on the end of the bench. One that's how close, and that's where he was sitting when that puck came through. For Fox, finds Kane. Winds up and wide up, shot the score! Patrick Kane on the power play! The puck handlers there, and they have some three really good shots on net, so doesn't look like that's gonna be a problem. And Kane was the option here and he took it. Yeah, and, and sure enough, with a great screen in front and Fox walks it in. Straight away, York, a drive save, man on the rebound, tip it! How about this stuff by Casey DeSmith? Big rebound, and let's see if he, oh yeah, wow! What a save there by DeSmith on tip it. Full power play, Williams, form again, right in, off the goal post! No, it went in, it did go in, a delayed reaction, Brock McGinn, Center, it's chopped wide, bounces out in front, and there's Crosby oh. denied by Neuvert. neuvert has got it in the glove. He preserves the lead. Left-handed larceny from Neuvert off of Crosby. Oh, my. What an incredible save by Michael Neuvert. If you want dramatic with a capital D. Shut out. Held in again by Ty Lorenz. Lorenz misplays it. Shut out has been broken. At the side of the goal was Colin White. Two things to make yourself still feel involved in the game, like getting to the end boards on this wraparound. To the Jets. They'll drop this back. It triples by Bernier. And the Jets catch a break. They regain the lead 5 4. Here are the Devils. Extra out in front. Here's Ovechkin. What a stop by Lundqvist on Alex Ovechkin. He made about five, ten bellers in game two, and he robbed that guy in game. Good job keeping everything to the outside. You got to try to get in the middle. Look at this bounce. A carom score. Just a turn. Wicked carom and a break for Anaheim. It's three-three. I'll tell you what, Roxy, that's one way to get the puck in the middle of the box. Just use the stanchion along the glass. Missed that right-handed shot badly. And uh, even... Whoa, oh, Darling lost it! Down he scores! have tied it. The goalie misplays it, and the Rangers score. Boy, oh boy, that, that'll give a coach gray hair. Hands it off to Parisi. His long shot knocked away by Reimer. Rebound, he scores! Yeah, it does. It deflects off the defenseman and then the blocker, so really should have handled that a lot cleaner. Ends up. Ruta, he did to break it driving. Trying to center open net. What a oh, save oh by Vasilevsky. <laughs> Patrick Kane looking skyward. How did that not go in? Vasilevsky. Warning call against Ricard Raquel. Second power play for Edmondson. McDavid looking to tie it right here. Short side and he does. Unreal placement over the right shoulder of Jari. That's a career high 45 for Connor McDavid. Yeah, a little fist pump going down the benches too. Buck in front of the net, they score! Sam Reinhardt is there again to do it again. And Yarrow Halak is greeted with another one from Sam Reinhardt. Five to one, Buffalo. Now Sam's gonna get his second power play goal of this game, his ninth.
Wheeler takes over once again. Stop. Shifley, one timer, great save. Another shot, another save by Marc Andre Fleury. Shifley in the sweet spot. Couldn't get this one to go thanks to the flower. Wow. Whoever had that in their satchel or their purse or their bag or their pocket. Yep. What does that person smell like after about uh, sitting there for two and a two and a half hours? Program. And the Wild get it deep. They'll stall out to play it, and oh, he nearly gave one away. He chased it after he turned it over, and somehow Matt Zuccarello missed the yawning. He's hoping to bring it, and he did. It went past Kemper, and Pedersen scores with 7.3 seconds to go in the period. Darcy Kemper had that puck bounce over his stick, and Elias Pedersen there to tie the game in one. Well, the creativity of Quinn Hughes and Elias Pettersson. Pettersson's been the best Canuck in this first period, no doubt about that. But look at Quinn Hughes. Boy, oh boy, this is a smart play. Never got a shot away. And the Predators, who trailed 3-0 after one period, come back and win in a shootout. 4-3 the final and an anticlimactic end, to be sure, for the home fans. Well, Archers is still back in and set a coach. Oh, it didn't go! It was tucked with a wide open. Incredible stop by Braden Holtby. It's an adventure right there to watch this. The puck. Price can win the game. After all we've seen tonight, I can tell you that didn't surprise me one bit. The, the, the absolute worst thing about the bench that you just don't see every day. You get a drink of water, Mark. No, it's the <laughs> other way. Green side up. And it's picked up by Smith. Pass for Rebel. Waiting back to Smith. Great stop by Condon. He's got it and holds on. And Smith can't believe he didn't bury the winner in overtime. How did that stay out? Unbelievable. We're going to take one more look at this Craig Smith chance. And for those who golf out there, I believe he double hits this puck. And who's so for Ernie? Hand oh. on it. Lost it. Colton all alone scores. Oh, my goodness. Oh yeah, yeah, what a bad break for Adam Ernie. He can't find a place to hide. Went to make the pass, a simple pass to the far side. Oh. Every hockey player's had this happen to him. You look up, the puck moves. He looked up right there. 